Hey everybody, Jem Schofield, and I'm here with Angus. How are you, Angus? Good, how are you, Jem? I'm doing well. Good. So all of this stuff, what is it that we're talking about today? We're talking about follow focus systems. Follow focus systems and how to use them in this scenario where we're using Canon DSLRs in narrative, you know, uh, fictional type filmmaking situations, commercial work, mm -hmm. where we would actually use a system like this. Exactly. Okay, so what is a follow focus system? Uh, it's a system that enables you to basically take your hand off the lens. Yeah. Um, you know, these lenses are great for shooting stills, manual focus, autofocus, wonderful. But when you get into video, not so great. Much easier to get your hand off the lens and uh, operate it independently of the lens. Okay, and so the idea is that we're building up a system so that we can change focus over time. Exactly. Okay, so let's start with the lens sure. and build this thing up so that people can see what the basic components are for a follow focus sure. system. So the first thing you do is you use a gear on your lens right. so that you can attach the follow focus to it. Okay. So this is a lens gear. Yep. This one's made by Red Rock. Yep. And uh, you position it on the focus ring of the lens. Got it. And then just tighten up the thumb screw. Yep. And so I can see that these come in varying sizes depending on the size of your lens. Exactly. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this lens off of mm -hmm. here and you can get the lens on there with the lens gear. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to actually show everybody this, which is a different type of lens gear. This one is made by Zacuto and it's more of a zip tie mm -hmm. type of situation. And I'm going to go ahead and position that on there. And there's a little Allen wrench that we can use to tighten this tighten down. Yep. And what you do with these lens gears is you actually cut them to the size of your exact lens. Yep. And we can see that there's a much lower profile. Yeah. Um, advantages to this are that they live on the lens. Advantages to these lens gears is you can take them off and put them on lots of different lenses. Exactly. Right. These okay. obviously take less space in your camera bag. Yep. Either way. So it really is just a personal preference. They both do the same thing. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we've got a lens gear on there. Now this lens gear is has got a, a certain what we call a pitch, yep. and so does that one, and they're the same. They're both they? the same, it's an industry standard. Okay, so they're both using the industry standard, which is a 0.8 pitch, yep. which is what we use for cinema or film, yep. right? So now we actually have to attach something to that lens gear, yep. and that's the follow focus unit. I'm exactly. gonna go ahead and hand you this yep. one. Thank you. Yep. So it goes onto the rods like this, yep. and then you slide it down and bring the follow focus gear in line with the lens gear, yep. and then you lock it onto the rods. Yep. And this is a great unit because it has separate controls. So once it's locked in, you can then slide Got it. the follow focus into right. position. And you're just matching up those two things. Yeah. And because they both have the same pitch, they, they both perfectly. match up. Perfect. Okay, good. So now, now this is really a follow focus system. Yeah. Now you're good to go. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and turn that to the setup here. Yeah. And I should mention that this particular follow focus unit from Zacuto matches up with their system for the lens gears, but it's industry standard. Yeah. That absolutely. pitch is the same no matter what system you're using. Exactly. So we've got a nice, you know, and each one is a little bit different. This particular unit, when you tighten this on the rods, it's tightening this, but it's also how we actually reposition and bring that into the lens gear. Exactly. Okay, so what do we have here? No, it's a very simple scene with coffee pot and a couple of coffee cups. I know, and we might see this in a film. There yeah, might be a little course. scene for something. Yeah. Or a commercial where mm -hmm. we do some stuff, a tabletop or something like that. Yeah. So let's start by showing people what a rack focus is. Sure. Okay, so, why don't we roll on this, actually. Okay. All right. And so you can see we're focused on the coffee cup. Yep. And now back to the coffee pot. Got it and then we can come back again. And that's a rack focus. Yeah. Taking focus from one object to another. Or person. Directing the audience's attention from one thing to another. Exactly. Okay, so now how do we use a, a follow focus system to help us do that repeatedly? Sure, okay, so you'll notice uh, on the side of the follow focus unit, there's a white disc and you can take a china pencil yep. and you can mark your first focus position. So let's go ahead and now use the expanded focus feature. Right. And okay. that's that little plus symbol mm -hmm. with the magnifying glass. Yep. Okay. And, and check that we're in focus there. Lovely. Okay. And yep, our mark is pretty much spot on. So just make sure that that's mm -hmm. right. Okay, cool. So then actually there's a little joystick on the back of the camera. Yeah. Absolutely. And if you move that. I'll click it once to get it back in the center. Okay, that's cool. And then go to where you want to be. Yep. Hit 5X. Hit 5X. Focus on the teaspoon, it's a good spot. And what are you shooting? You're shooting this at a, a 1.8. Yeah, so very you're really shallow. wide open. Yeah. Very shallow depth of field. Okay, cool. And then check our mark. I was a little bit off. So okay. we'll go there. 
Okay, good. And then you can yep. actually okay, I'll get good. rid of that. Yeah. And then back to our normal view. Yeah. Okay. okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's roll on that again and see okay. how that looks. And back to there. And that's it. Yeah. So now let's talk about following focus. Mm -hmm. We're going to actually have Scott pick up that coffee pot mm -hmm. and he's going to lift it up and he's going to move it to where the coffee cup is yeah. and he's going to pour the coffee. Yeah. And what I would do is let's just do what we can do, which is that we'll clean off those mm -hmm. marks, which is what's great about using a grease pencil or a dry erase marker. Yep. And that's the whole idea. You'll go ahead and mark your two positions. Yep. Sure. Okay, so you're using that expanded focus again, mm -hmm. using the joystick to figure out your position. That's right. So I see you're marking it in two different places. And that's great to show because on this particular disc, we can do that. Yeah. And why might that be useful? Well, if you're operating and pulling focus yourself, it's very helpful to have it on the top of the disc. Got it. But if somebody else is pulling focus for you, you mark it on the side. And so what do you mean when somebody else is pulling focus for you? Well, it's a great situation to be in. You can have someone standing beside the camera looking at a monitor and the follow focus unit. Yep. And you can be composing your shot mm -hmm. and all they have to worry about is focus. Okay, so you've got the camera operator mm -hmm. and then you have the focus puller. Exactly. And do they have any, well, we've got some stuff here. So what's the deal with this yeah, stuff? Yeah, so, well, there's a whip. Okay. Great thing, you can plug it into the side of the follow focus unit. Okay, and all follow focus units have that. And that's a standard fitting. Got it, okay. okay. And what this does is it isolates the camera from any vibration from the focus puller. And it also gets the focus puller away from the camera yeah. operator. So if the camera's moving, yeah. there's Got a lot it. of flexibility there. And this is a hard job for one person to do. It's, it's a hard tough. job for two people to do. It's, this job is one of the hardest. Okay. Got it. Okay. So that's that. And then, um, okay. So in this situation, you're going to do both of those jobs. So you've marked your first position. Yep. So we're going to go back so. to that shot mm -hmm. and then you're going to go to your second and you're going to move that joystick over yep. and just find that second object. Yep. And you're going to go in. Okay. Got it. Okay. Good. And so mark, mark again. Good. Excellent. Okay. And action. Let's go ahead and do a longer pour this time, more natural. Good, and then just put it straight down. Excellent. And cut. So that's following focus. Yeah. And this is in a sort of more tabletop type of situation. Yeah. So what we did earlier on was what? So we went outdoors and we had a very long lens on the camera and we had you walk over a rise and we held focus as you did. So in a traditional camera operator, focus puller type situation exactly. where you would see something like that in a narrative film, yep. episodic television. Yeah. Uh, I think that's it. We've covered yep. a lot with follow focus systems. Absolutely. Thanks very much, Angus. Thanks, Jim.